you think we'll get voted king and queen again? <laughs> Allison. Yeah. Obviously, Shane. <laughs> Who are you texting? You've been on your phone all night. You know that Jenny Taft girl? <laughs> yeah, with the with the glasses. She thought you asked her to prom. Why would she think that? I guess Jessica and I emailed her from your account. What? You don't think it's funny? I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, baby. <laughs> don't. Oh, no. She's still out there. Yes. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> Jenny is getting late. You coming inside soon? How's it gonna ever? Jenny. <laughs> you know, sweetheart, locking yourself away and avoiding everyone is not gonna solve anything. Sure it will. Plants are mean to each other. <laughs> Listen, what those kids did was unforgivable. But you're gonna have to find a way to face it. Because there's always going to be mean people. And unlike your hard work, it, people aren't going extinct. Tender file expectability is not extinct. People just think it is because it's rare in the wild, because it can hibernate for decades until the conditions are exactly right. And they call it the hard work because it only blooms when someone finds true love. No, Daddy, that's just a myth. OK. Let me ask you something. If this flower only blooms, and the conditions are perfect. What happens if they never are? And I'm gonna go find the hardware. I'm gonna get out of Pine Hill, California. And as far away from Shane Rutherford and Allison Crane in high school as I can. Hang on, I thought you said you were never leaving the greenhouse. <laughs> sweet, sweet. <laughs> I know it hurts, Jenny. I know it does. Listen. <laughs> Someday, you're going to come back to Pine Hill, and you're going to say, I'm Jenny Taft. And the worst mistake you ever made in your life was underestimating me. <laughs> because, sweetheart, you are going to conquer the world. because we heard locals telling tales of red flowers blooming in the jungle. So I immediately thought, Dendrophila expectabilis. Of course, someone, someone on the bus was like, maybe it's a rhododendron calendulaceum, and I was like, that flower is yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so a few weeks ago, our team hiked to a remote valley in Bolivia and made a startling discovery. Dendrophila expectabilis. I know it looks like a box of dirt, but it is so much more than that. This is a climate-controlled environment with the exact humidity, temperature, and soil makeup to provide perfect conditions to bloom. They could happen tomorrow, or, or next year, or even a decade from now. Or when someone finds true love. That's, that's just a silly myth. Who knows? We fell in love while hunting for this hard orchid, so maybe we'll inspire it. Thank you, everyone. find more on our website. I still don't understand why you had to bring up that whole true love thing. Because it's all part of the heart orchid mythology. You have to at least acknowledge it. It's a graduate studies presentation. It's about science, not old wives tales. Jenny, just trust me. It's more interesting. Oh, and I cleared this table. I definitely think the part that we cut makes it flow a whole lot better. 
Jenny, oh, you left your computer on again. It's it's just so Oh, no, wasteful. no, I'm expecting a call from Nancy, though. I think we should kiss. What? At the end of the presentation. Kiss? Yeah. The botany grad students who found love while they were hunting for the heart orchid. I, oh, and I don't know that that's appropriate. Oh, or... shoot. I gotta go. But how about dinner and a movie tomorrow? Pizza and that new superhero movie? How about Thai food and that documentary about migrant workers? Mm, you know what Thai food does to me. All right, I'll call you tomorrow. It's androgynous. Come on. Hey, Nan. Hey, how did it go? I know it went great. No, yeah, it was it was good. I wish I could have been there. You've been talking about this heart orchid since we were 12 years old. I feel like I know more about it than I know about hair. Speaking of which, what is going on with yours? I mean, did you even try that volumizer I said? Yes, I did, but Owen said it smelled like chemical waste. If you find a man who loves your hair the way that it is, marry him. Yeah, well, I'll be sure to add that to my list of qualities my future husband should have. I have a surprise for you. Hold on. Mom? Mom? Hi, sweetheart. Your hair, what? Oh my. I know. I thought I would try something a little different. You like it? Yes, I, I love it, I do. Do you really like it? I really do. Change is good. Well, I'm so relieved to hear you say that because while we're on the subject of change, I'm selling the house. And I need you to come clean out your stuff. just copy the old yearbooks, but we can use them as inspiration. And they solved all the same kind of layout problems we're dealing with this year. So take these home, study them, right, and come back tomorrow with all of your brilliant ideas, okay? Any questions? All right. Y'all have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. I can't believe you were like the big man on campus. First of all, I wasn't. And second of all, why not? Oh, come on. Look at you, Mr. Rutherford. I mean, you're old. I'm in my 20s. Like I said, old. <sighs> oh, class president, star athlete. When you were a kid, was the world still in black and white? You may go away now. OK. <laughs> Frankie, don't forget your photo assignments. Oh. Student council and all of the school poll winners. OK, thanks. Uh, wait, uh, Ethan Redding? Yeah, he's your class president. Right, yeah, um, but you said student council. I thought you meant like the whole council together at one time. Uh, the editors decided they want each person individually. But Madison and Arthur, she's, she's not even on the student council. Right, she was voted most likely to succeed in your class. Uh, is there a problem? No, photos are my thing. I really don't understand why you have to leave today. Oh, and I really need to be there for her. I have to go. What about our presentation? We have weeks to prepare. I'll be back in plenty of time. Can't your mom wait? No, I, I mean, she already put a deposit on a condo. I just think that, you know, after my dad passed away, it just, the house became too much for her, so. Okay, well, what about the hard orchid? What about it? You can take care of it. Um, I have the convention this weekend. Can't keep it in a hotel, it's our baby. What if something goes wrong? You don't expect me to take this all the way to California, do you? What choice do we have? Mr. Ellaby, it's a stickler for punctuality. Yes, almost. I just gotta drop this liability waiver off at the office. Oh, for what? 
They asked me to chaperone the prom in a few weeks. <laughs> Certainly, it's a very dangerous assignment. To chaperone the prom? You wanna go? Relive old times? No. We were king and queen of our own prom. I mean, how do you top that? Well, then don't be mad if Miss Hargrove tries to steal me away. <laughs> the 90-year-old librarian. Well, I hear she's got mad dance moves. Uh, I'll take my chances. This is the final one. People who don't show up to the meetings on time have to stand outside with their face pressed up against the conference room. I mean, why would you want to work with this guy? Because it's one of the biggest real estate agencies in San Diego. It's an amazing opportunity. I know. I just want to make sure you're sure. It's a huge thing we're considering. Are you having second thoughts? What, about quitting my job, running away from my family and friends, and moving to a city where I don't know anybody? No, of course not. You'll know me. Yes, I will. <laughs> What's your name again? Shane, I really think we need this. A fresh start, you know? get us back on track. But if you don't want to move to San Diego, we don't have to. You know, that's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? I'm saying that we can talk about this later when we're not keeping Mr. Stickler for punctuality waiting. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hello? Oh, hello, sweetheart. Hi, Mom. Oh, careful, that is careful. a big... Thing? I know. I, I had to buy it its own seat. Oh. oh, I'm so happy to see you. You know, that video chat thing is really remarkable, but, but I can't hug you over the computer. Oh, hold on. Oh. Hi, Mom. Oh. This place looks exactly the same. Can I get you anything? An iced tea? A lemonade? Whatever you baked. Oh, honey, I didn't bake anything. I'm sorry. What do you mean? You always bake things. I, you bake things when you come visit me. Well, I've just been too busy. But with the condo and getting the house ready, the realtor is going to be here on Monday. I've just had so much to do. Plus, there's my spin class. You're taking a spin class? Oh, no, sweetheart. I teach it. Since when? It's silly, huh? No, not at all. I think it's great. Why didn't you tell me? You're far too busy to hear silly stories about what I do. Busy traveling the world and making your big discoveries. I am so proud of you. <gasps> is that the flower? Yep, that is it. A hard orchid. Wow. Well, we have to find somewhere to put it, somewhere safe. I think I know a good place.
I'm so sorry. No worries, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, my fault, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I need you. What? I need to take your picture at the yearbook. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. How do I look? Perfect. What was that? Oh, fine, really. I just can't take the picture here. So. Oh, why not? I don't have the right lens, um, and the lighting's not quite right with this lens. So. Okay, when and where? Whatever works for you. I'll tell you what, I'm working at the market tonight. How about after? Or we can meet down by the tree in the town square. Unless you think that it's too dark down there. No, that's, that would be perfect. Yeah, they have really good lighting there. Cool. All right, 9 o'clock sound good? Yeah, for sure. Sounds good. Thanks, Frankie. See ya. Watch where you're going. I'm sorry, Madison, my fault. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Yes, you are. Ethan, wait up. And then we just spent all night talking about her new friends and her new condo. Oh, did I tell you she's teaching a spin class? I know, I took it. You did? <laughs> Well, I took half of it. When she says feel the burn, she means it. New friends, new place, spin class. My mother has more of a life than I do. Oh, stop. You spent years looking for that flower, and you found it. Now what? You're gonna be finishing grad school soon, maybe a new boyfriend? I have a boyfriend. A different boyfriend? How can you not like Owen? You met him once. At dinner, he called you an intellectual. That's a good thing. You're smarter than him. He knows it, and he's threatened by you. You can figure all that out after just one dinner. All I'm saying is, you deserve better. Owen's sweet. And we have the same interests. Such as? Well, botany, for one. And? And we both like going to the movies and eating. Okay. All I'm saying is, maybe it's time you start thinking about making some changes in your life, like your mother's making in hers. Start with this hair. Oh my gosh. I will tame this beast. It's like my white whale. It's just, it's fine. Please stop a little. No, not just move. Go back to curls. Over there, I'll stay over here so nobody gets hurt. What? Romilio Dei, Neo, or Julia? Sure, because they say people with head injuries can slip into comas. No, it's just a little bump. Hey, why are we in that tree? I was looking at a flower. Why? I'm a botanist. Botanists climb trees. We go where the botany is. Okay, I get that. I'm Frankie, by the way. Jenny. <laughs> Thanks for the ice pack. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I always have one handy. I have a tendency to bump into things. <sighs> Been there. Oh, there's Mr. Rutherford. Mr. Frankie, hey, got your message. What's going on? She fell out of a tree. What? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I, um... Oh, no. She's losing the ability to speak. I, I think she's slipping into a coma. No, uh, no coma. I'm good. I, uh, want a first aid kit. Want to take a look? Ooh, yeah, you got him. Pretty nasty bump there. So you, uh, mind me asking what you were doing up a tree? Can I get a closer look at a flower? She's a botanist. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, Shane Rutherford. I know. You do? 
Um, yeah, we went to high school together. Wow. Um, you did? I'm so sorry. I'm terrible with names. Um, you are? Jenny. Jenny Taft. Of course, Jenny Taft. Yeah, it's yeah. been a long time. How are you? <laughs> you don't remember me, do you? I'm sorry. Did we know each other? <laughs> no. Not really. I'm I'm actually gonna go. Oh, yeah. oh I'm so sorry. You don't, um, don't worry about it. <clears throat> following me? Me? No. <laughs> Just making sure you're okay. So you knew Mr. Rutherford, huh? <sighs> you could say that. I don't know what he was like in high school, but if he was the total popular guy jerk, then he's really changed. Did you date or something? No. Let me guess. He didn't know you existed? Pretty much. Yep, I got one of those. Ethan Redding. Well, I found out today he actually knows my name. Well, that's something. Yeah, but he hangs out with all the popular kids, of course. And then he's dating this mean girl, Madison. <laughs> I had one of those. Her name was Allison Crane. That's Mr. Weatherford's girlfriend. He's still dating Allison Crane? Yeah. Wow. Oh. So she was your Madison? Something like that. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. So sorry, I'm late. There was a crazy emergency at school. I hope everything's okay. Yeah, <laughs> actually, some woman fell out of a tree. What was she doing in a tree? I have <laughs> no idea, but get this. Okay. We went to high school with her. Mm-hmm. Uh, her name is Jenny Taft. Uh, Jenny Taft. Do you remember her? The girl with the braces and, and the glasses and the hair. You must remember her hair, right? All right, someone posted some photos recently. OK, wait. <laughs> Check that out. If nothing else, you must remember prom. Thanks, <laughs> Sure. Oh, no, she was the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, now I remember. I can't believe she actually thought you were going to take her to prom. What we did was horrible. OK, Shane, come on. We were just kids. I'm sure she's over it by now. Allison, I see people get bullied every single day. We didn't bully her. We called her names. We called her. Poison Ivy. <laughs> it's not funny. OK, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. We're terrible people. Now, can we just order a starving babe? Mom? Oh, hi, sweetheart. Are you hungry? You want me to fix you something? Uh, no, thank you. What are you doing? Oh, karate. One of the women at my fitness club was mugged in the parking lot, so I thought I should learn how to defend myself. You want me to throw you over my shoulder? Uh, I'm, I'm good for now. OK. Hi. Hello. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I should have called first. How did you? I remembered who you are. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Can we talk? Um, it's a good idea. Please, it'll just take five minutes. What? 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 Hey! One second, that maybe uh, we should grab a coffee. Yeah, sure. Oh, really? I thought that would have been a nice idea. Why didn't you think of that? Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Hey, how are you? Good. I'm good. Sorry, how are you? Emily. How are you? Sorry. <laughs> 
sure this is okay for the photo? It's kind of dark. No, it's it's really good, actually. The lights hanging create a nice, like, shadowy effect. Uh, yeah. Cool. So you're the expert. Where do you want me? Um, I think, like, right here-ish with okay. the tree in the background. Sure. Yeah. Just let me sit. Okay. So, uh, what do you think I should do? Should I strike a pose or something? No, <laughs> just, like, casual. casual. Yeah. What, be yourself? Oh, wow. That's a, that's a little, that's a little casual. <laughs> a little, maybe too casual. Too casual. Too, casual. <laughs> too much, huh? Yeah. Okay, all right. Something natural, you okay. know. Okay, all right. How, how's this for you? Oh, perfect. Mm. It's like a Vogue cover right there. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I love it. I all love right. it. Over the shoulder? Over the shoulder, yes. Yeah. Now we're talking. Hmm. Oh, that's a money shot. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, it's a nice night. It is. Hello. So you're uh, you're a botanist? Uh, almost. I, but yeah. That's cool. You, I mean, you were always into plants and stuff. Still am, I guess. <laughs> so what? Uh, do you like grow things? <laughs> no, uh, I, I look for things, a thing specifically, uh, the hard orchid. Hard orchid, what is that? It's a very rare flower. We found one in Bolivia. Wait, you went to Bolivia for a flower? It's a very important flower. Amazing. So how did you end up back here? I thought you were going to go play basketball at, at some big school. <clears throat> I was, uh, but the summer after graduation, I was shooting hoops in the driveway. Just messing around, and I went up for a layup, and when I landed, I snapped my Achilles tendon. Goodbye scholarship. So I stayed here, went to a local college, and got my teaching certificate, and here I am. You said you like it, though, teaching? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, I feel like life has a way of kind of pointing you in the direction you're supposed to go all along. <laughs> I'm sorry. For what? For what we did to you. The prom. My first year teaching, there was this senior in my class. He was a piece of work. He was captain of the football team, president of his class, a jerk. He was a bully. And I saw him teasing this girl with glasses and braces. And I confronted him. And I said, don't ever treat people like that. Oh, you're no better than they are. And as the words were coming out of my mouth, I realized that I had been that kid. I was vain and I was arrogant. And I was mean. I was mean to you. And for that, I am truly, truly sorry. Thank you. So, do you wanna go home or? No, it's a nice night. We can keep walking. Okay. I love that one. Oh, the jacket. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh, so presidential. I see the class president in you. Yes. I love that one. <laughs> what is going on? Hey, we're just goofing around. Yeah, we. You and that? Yeah, Madison, we're, we're just taking a photo for the yearbook. She has to take yours too, right, Frankie? Right, yeah, I, I do. Interesting. Because you never asked me, you just asked my boyfriend. Oh, sorry, I was, I was just doing. Madison, what's. What's wrong here? Don't talk to my man without getting my permission. Got it? Got it. Okay. Now you can take my picture. Oh, okay. Um, do you need to like get ready or? I'm ready. I always look good in pictures. All right. You can take it then. Um, yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Told you. Can we go now? I'm bored. 
Thanks, Frankie. I'm sorry. It's, it's all good. Bye. Well, I told him if you're gonna take my truck, then I'm gonna take your donkey. <laughs> okay, fair. So what happened? Apparently, he really liked his donkey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have such great stories. I do? Yes. All the, the places you've gone, the, the things you've done. I mean, oh, my biggest adventure is Taco Tuesdays at school. I remember Taco Tuesdays, and if they're anything like well, when we were kids, I mean, that might be more dangerous than anything I've done. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. Yeah. Wow, I had no idea we were out walking for so long. Time flies, doesn't it? Listen, this is going to sound weird, but I want to make it up to you. I'm chaperoning prom this year, and I'm wondering if you want to go with me. But, Allison... <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a date. Besides, Allison hates these school things. You know, she already said she doesn't want to go, so... Think about it. It was really nice to meet you. Jenny Taft. You too, Shane Rutherford. <laughs> Think about prom, okay? Someone find true love yet? What? No. What do you mean? The hard orchid? Did it bloom? Oh. <clears throat> no, no, not yet. Whew. Good. I would have hated to miss that. Should have kept it here. Or maybe I should have gone with you. Oh, and the chances of it blooming in the next week and a half are pretty slim. I know. I guess I just I miss it. You miss the flower? Yeah, of course. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about the presentation. We're gonna have to push it up a couple weeks. The professor said so. Sorry. Hey. Hey. I wanted to stop by and talk about last night. <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I didn't like the way we left things. Me either. So I guess an apology's in order? You don't have to apologize. I meant an apology from you. What did I do? What did you do? You left me at the restaurant after you made me sound like some horrible ogre. Allison, what we did was cruel. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm not the one you should be saying sorry to. Jenny Taft deserves that apology, and I'm glad I went over there and gave her one. You actually went and apologized to yes, her? Yes, and you know what? She's actually pretty cool. Oh, I'm sure she is. All I did was go over there and say sorry for inviting you to prom and standing you up. How is that so wrong? Because you were the one making me out to be the bad guy we here. We were the bad guys. So I suppose you told her it was all my idea. No, I didn't tell her that. But it was your idea. You were the one that sent those emails from my account. But you found out about it, and you didn't apologize then. So why are you acting so innocent now? You're just as guilty. Thank you. 
Thanks for letting me use your phone. Yeah, no problem, babe. As boxes of dirt go, it's nice. It is so much more than a box of dirt. Okay, okay, it's a plant miracle. Now tell me more about Shane Rutherford. I already told you everything. Tell me again. He he was nice. See, that's where you lose me. Shane Rutherford, nice. And he really apologized? He did. And he seemed to feel pretty badly about it. And he invited you to prom? He invited me to chaperone prom with him. It's not exactly the same thing. That's what I'm afraid of. It's not like it was last time. I don't think so. I mean, I really do think he's changed. You know he's still dating Allison Crane, right? I know. But I guess she doesn't want to go, so that's not surprising. What do you mean? People tend to get a little gossipy when they're in my chair. Mrs. Hargrove, the school librarian, she says they're having problems. Really? That's terrible. I mean, it doesn't matter. She, Allison can be there anyway. Sweetie, you're not really thinking of going, are you? No. Good. Because we have a lot of packing to do. Come on. Mr. Rutherford? What's going on? I have a problem. Okay. How can I help? You can't. Okay. I'm glad we had this little chat. Me too. <laughs> Frankie! <sighs> Sit. Speak. I can't. Why not? Because I promised I wouldn't say anything. And even if I did, you'd never get it. Why not? Because you've never been a teenage girl. Well, hey, I'm sure we can find someone who used to be a teenage girl. Like who? Oh, please don't say Mrs. Hargrove, the librarian. Teenage girl in this century, please. I can't believe I'm spending my day off packing stuff that isn't even mine. Should have faked a back injury. You didn't have to come. <sighs> yes, I did. It was either this or her spin class, and my thighs can't take it. Hi, Owen. Honey, I have an, a great idea that you have to listen to. It's, uh... One sec. What? Okay. <laughs> uh, hello? You there? Oh, and I'm gonna have to call you back. Wait a second, I just... I wanna... Hi. I really, really appreciate you doing this. The two of you seemed to hit it off the other day. It's no problem. I don't know if she's getting picked on. Or... To be like a boy, who knows? Most teenage girl drama is boy problems. <laughs> anyway, wish me luck. Good luck. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> Hello, Shane. Nancy. Uh... Oh, cool. It's like it's got its own bio, though. Yes. Exactly. Everyone else is just calling it a box of dirt. It's much more than a box of dirt. Right? Wow. So, uh, do you want to talk about whatever it is you couldn't talk to Mr. Rutherford about? What's going on with you two? Noth nothing. He just... A couple days ago, he couldn't even remember your name. And now he's entrusting you with his favorite student? I think he thinks you and I might have a few things in common. Do you like him? Why don't we talk about your problem? Which, linguistically speaking, would mean he is your problem. I can see why he likes you. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you about the issue, but I have to be purposely vague. Okay. Somebody asked someone to do something, and someone wants to know if they should do it. Okay. 
Is the something that somebody asked someone to do dangerous, illicit, or illegal? No. Good. Did you go to prom? No, I didn't. Is that what this is about? Did someone ask you to, somebody to prom? Look, I know it can be scary. Sometimes it's good to put yourself out there. My dad once told me, actually in this very greenhouse, you can't hide from the world. It's just too much of it out there. How'd it go? Good, I think. Yeah? Someone feels a lot better about somebody and something. Good to hear. <laughs> Well, I better go. Thank you, Mr. Redford, yeah. and thanks, Jenny. Here my number if you need anything. Yeah, got it. See you later. See you tomorrow, Margie. She is a really great girl. Yeah, yeah, she is. She's one of a kind. Listen, thank you. Jenny, don't we have to get some work done? Yes, right, sorry. Um, we're having a huge yard sale next weekend. Oh, that's great. Uh, do you guys need any help? Really? It's the least I can do after you help Frankie. Besides, if I have to sit at home and read one more essay comparing Faulkner to Hunger Games, I might just lose my mind. <laughs> well, I want that, so, sure. My pride being a little injured, uh, yes. Oh, I am so sorry. I thought you were... Totally my fault. I, I should have known better than to chase a woman in a parking lot. Oh, I feel terrible. Is there anything I can do? Uh, you could show me how you did that. It's very easy, really. It's just a matter of balancing oh, your... Probably weight. best to, say, explain it over a um, cup of coffee. Oh. Well. Um. I could do that. Lovely. George. Eileen. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start in the living room. What about this? Oh, um, my mom has suddenly become a fan of making frittatas, so I think we should keep the whisk. Okay. Um, I, I looked up the heart orchid. You looked it up? Yeah, I wanted to see what made you trek across the globe. What do you think about the whole, it only blooms when you find true love thing? That's just a myth. It's a little romantic, don't you think? I'm a scientist, so I, I believe in facts, not Fantasy. There's nothing scientific about love? Sure there is. I mean, there's pheromones and, and the chemicals in the brain and things like, like body language and the tone of somebody's voice. They create these reactions and those are interpreted as love. So is there someone to whom you are chemically attracted back in Pennsylvania? I have an Owen. A what now? Sorry, his name. His name is Owen. He's a good guy. What does he do? He is a grad student like me. Botany also. That's shared interest. That's good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's kind of hard to keep the, the connection going, though, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, the brain chemicals don't last forever, right? So, you and Allison, how's that going? Oh, well, you remember Allison, don't you? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, she can be, uh... We're actually thinking about moving to San Diego. Really? Yeah, she's up for a job down there. How do you feel about that? I don't, I don't know. It's funny, in high school, I felt like I was king of the world. You know, it was someone that told me that it doesn't last forever. Maybe I would have appreciated it more. Sorry, I know high school wasn't that great for you, and I had a lot to do with that, and I apologized, right? Yes, you did. Good. I guess, I don't know, there were times when you probably thought I couldn't get any worse, right? Pretty much, yeah. When I lost my basketball scholarship, I spent a lot of time thinking that what if, for me, it was never gonna get any better? And then something remarkable happened. What? It got better. <laughs> and I started teaching and, and I'd meet these kids like Frankie. And then I realized that tearing my Achilles might have been the best thing that ever happened to me. I'll get it. Sorry, that was probably way too much information about me. No, no, it was, it's... It's good. Actually, I've been thinking about it, and if the offer still stands, I would love to go to prom with you. Jenny, the realtor's here. So, Allison, my mom never really mentioned that you were a realtor. Oh, I'm not. Yours had another appointment, so I'm just helping out. Tiny little world, huh? Well, that's everything. What's this? Uh, my personal space. You, I don't know that you need to go in. I, it's not. This is gonna need some TLC before we can show it to some prospective buyers. I mean, you got dead plants and old maps and a box of dirt. That's not, a, just please be careful. What's in it? A very rare, very valuable flower. Hey, right. Shane tells me you're a botanist now. Yes, I am almost a botanist. I'm just getting my master's degree. Oh, good for you. I'm sure that'll be very rewarding or something. OK, um, is there anything else you need to see before you go away? Just be careful when you clean this place out. I mean, there might be mice or mold or, I don't know, poison ivy. Oh, no, she did not. OK, that's enough. Allison, we're leaving right now. OK. If you say so, darling. But first, I need a little one-on-one -on -one time with the homeowner. So, uh, why don't you two just wait outside? So, Jenny, I just wanted to take this opportunity to talk. Oh, please be careful. What I would like to talk about is, why is my boyfriend taking you out on a date? It's not a date. I believe your exact words were, I'd love to go to prom with you. Oh, well, prom, that it's not a date. He was just asking to apologize. I suppose you're expecting me to apologize, too? Expecting? No, not really. Good, because I'm not going to. Move on, Jenny. You really shouldn't hold on to stuff like that. Who knows what kind of damage it could do? I'm really glad we had this chat. No way that you're gonna go to prom with her. Allison, you're being ridiculous. Why? Because I don't want my boyfriend to go on a date with someone else? <laughs> it's not a date, it's chaperoning the prom. And now you're being insane. Look, I don't get why this is such a big deal. I got the job. And I wanna be happy about it. And I want you to be happy about it. But instead, I am scared that you're gonna tell me you don't wanna go to San Diego. Should I be scared? I don't want to go to San Diego. <sighs> I'm 
going anyway. Is this really happening? Uh, Allie, we were so perfect together when we were kids. But we're not kids anymore. I'm at the top of my class. You know, I have my pick of jobs. So smart. So why is it that five minutes in a room with Allison Crane and I suddenly just feel like a scared little girl? They will always be the popular kids. And we'll always be the nerds. We're not nerds. You're only saying that because you have a crush on Shane. I do not. I don't. I don't. OK. He's, he's nice and, you know, he's handsome. And smart and kind of sensitive. He's got this soft side that I have a crush on him. Hmm. If I tell you something stupid, you promise not to laugh? I promise. For like a minute, honestly, just well, one second, I thought that, you know, he sort of, kind of, maybe might. Like me too. You're not laughing. I promise not to. When does that ever stop to you? What if he kind of, sort of maybe likes me? Look, Jenny, I know it's fun to think that the star of the basketball team is gonna dump his hot cheerleader girlfriend and ask out the plant geek. But things never work out like that. Well, I'll tell you one thing. There's no way I'm going to prom with him. So when the teacher didn't show up one day, I thought, well, I've been taking this class for a year. I could do it. And so I did. That's amazing. You should be very proud of yourself. Oh, that's enough about me. Tell me more about you. Oh, well, it's nowhere near as interesting. I was a lawyer, but I'm retired now, although I do help out a few days a week at a legal aid center. That's nice. Were you married? I was. She divorced me many years ago, and for good reason. I was a very flawed man. But you're not now. No. Now I'm quite perfect. Good to know. <laughs> Stay away. I missed you so much. That's so sweet. Did you miss me too? You missed me too, didn't you? It's okay. Daddy's here to take care of you. You came all the way to California for the hard work I mean, we looked all over the world for this little beauty. It's going across the country. Hey, I've been thinking about the presentation. I think that we really need some multimedia, a little video, a little animation. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> it's gonna be so great. I gotta go. Some music? Yeah, you want a jingle? We're gonna write a jingle. Yeah. Jenny, start thinking about like some catchy tunes. It's not that musical, but...
Uh, I got you. You okay? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, what are you doing here? Uh, out for a walk, looking for a little clarity. What about you? Same. Uh, definitely could use some clarity. So if you find any, hey, get your own. Uh, well, you can't hog all the clarity. Yes, I can. I called it. Fine. Be that way. I will just find. Less ambiguity. Hey, that is the same thing. You can't thesaurus your way out of stealing my clarity. What? Well, oh, I wish I paid more attention in English class. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to apologize. Uh, Allison. He hates me. Uh, no. Okay. Maybe a little. <laughs> but it, it wasn't about you. It, it's about us. Or was. What do you. What do you mean, was? Uh, we broke up. I'm sorry. <clears throat> what are you trying to make less ambiguous? Everything. School, career, men. Owen's here. That's the boyfriend, right? That's, that's nice. He missed the hard orchid. Oh, come on. I'm sure that's not the only reason he's here. Ambiguity, okay. <clears throat> well, listen, about Saturday, the prom... Oh, I totally get it. It's a terrible idea, considering everything. What? No. Asking you to chaperone the dance with me is completely selfish on my part. All I can think about is how much I missed out by not knowing you in high school. So think about it, okay? If you want to go, just show up. I'll be there. over there. How? I told her it was previously owned by the British royal family and that it broke in a fight over who would inherit the crown. <laughs> Give me the $10. Why? I have a feeling by the end of the day you're going to need a lawyer. Ooh, I see another potential victim. I mean customer. talk I am um, I gotta go drop off some papers going to Jenny's house <laughs> don't worry I'll be nice <laughs> maybe I can come with you I hope we can still be friends Jenny Jenny I have a new opening to our presentation. Um, you want to hear it? Can we do this later, though? Because I'm kind of busy with the art sale. No, no, no. But our, our presentation hangs in the balance. It's only going to take a minute, and you're going to love it. Trust me. No. Okay, great, great. We open in all black, pitch black, and you just hear heart, 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 heart. And then interpretive dancers come out, and they they do an esoteric journey as we see a slideshow of our journey through South America. Thank you. Hey, Frankie. Hi. <laughs> they have a lot of cool books here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of stuff about plants. I know, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> hey, how did those pictures turn out? Oh, great, really good. Great, yeah, I can't wait to see them. Uh, oh, maybe I can show them to you tonight. Oh, tonight? At the prom? <laughs> well, we may be busy dancing, but sure. Dancing? <laughs> yeah, dancing, you know? It's a dance, so you kind of have to dance. I think it's like a rule or something. Uh, right, yeah, it's like a rule, yeah. <laughs> Hey, um, I haven't told anyone. 
About what? Exactly. <laughs> so I'll, I'll see you tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay. See you later. Bye. See ya. dancing around the hard orchid and then the hologram hard orchid comes up and we're singing with it we're doo wopping with it and then we kiss lead them over and just sign the copies where it's indicated oh no what nothing just stay here no yeah, right okay, i'll pick them up from you next week sometime great right. thanks so much uh jenny allison's just dropping off the paperwork so we can list the house uh great thanks for stopping by aren't you gonna introduce me um this is Allison, our realtor. This is Ben my. This is Owen. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Didn't get your name. Shame. It's nice to meet you. So, uh, how do you two know Jenny? Oh, they went to high school together. Oh, really? Uh, you guys are gonna have to tell me some stories of her from back then. I mean, I know her pretty well now, but have to imagine she was a little nerdy back then, huh? <laughs> I mean, we were all nerdy in high school, unless you were class president or head cheerleader. Oh, and they, they were class president, not cheerleader. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Hi, Mr. Rutherford. Frankie, what are you doing here? I'm just helping out the sale. She is a great negotiator. Well, I have no doubt. Are you still chaperoning prom tonight? Yes, yes, I am. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> with who? Um, the somebody in the somewhere with something. Oh, I get it. Prom sounds like so much fun. I, I never went to mine. That's terrible. Everyone should go to their prom. If you need any more chaperones, we'd be more than happy to volunteer. Sure, that'd be great. <laughs> Maybe we should go too. <laughs> You're a little late, Owen. Jenny was already invited. Oh, really? By whom? By him. My boyfriend. Well, former boyfriend, that is. Wait a minute. You were, you were dating her? But you invited her? Yeah. Why? If you have to ask why, then you don't know Jenny at all. Really? So you're defending her honor now? You know what? He's all yours. But someday I hope you realize what it feels like when somebody takes away something you really care about. I'm so sorry. I really am. I'm sorry. Sometimes high school never ends. <laughs> Allison. Come on. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Allison and me, we're just not the same people that we were. And you're not either. But you don't have to settle for... You are the most insensitive person I've ever met. Anything. I'll see you tonight. See you tonight. This is ridiculous. Like, this is something that you should know, that you shouldn't say to a woman that you're supposed to care about. But... I'm sure you don't even know that. Well, that is none of my concern. You're a jerk. Oh, horse hockey. That guy's got anger issues, and you know it. It looked like he was going to punch me. And you didn't do anything hey, wrong? Hey, hey. He wasn't going to punch you, Owen. Can I punch him? You want to tell me what's going on here? This guy really asked you to prom? It was all a big misunderstanding. But if he did ask me to prom, would you be jealous? Don't be silly. It's not like he's going to ask you on a real date. Please let me punch him. What if he did? What if he did ask me on a real date? Would you be jealous? Well, of course. How'd that look for a presentation on the romantic heart orchid if you're dating some other guy?
I think we got rid of most of it. And turned a really good profit. I may have to give up here and go into sales full time. <laughs> Where's Owen? I heard him say something about the airport, but I couldn't tell because that fat lip. <laughs> it's not funny. I wasn't really going to punch him. I was just checking my earrings, and he fell on his face on the ground. George, Nancy, can you give us a minute? Of course. Was a little funny. More than a little. I didn't want to be the kind of mom that butts into her child's life. But I never got what you saw in him. I saw somebody who was smart and a, a scientist like me. Did you see someone you could love? Your father was always better at giving advice than I was, but the best I could think of to do was bake cookies. You bake good cookies? True. Can I tell you a secret? I hate baking. And why did you do it? Because I thought it was what I was supposed to do. Everyone thought of me as Jordan's wife and Jenny's mom. I, I, I didn't know I could be anything else. Sorry. No, 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 don't get me wrong. I loved being your dad's wife. And I still love being your mother. I wouldn't trade that for anything in the world. But now I know that I can be Jenny's mom and I can also be Eileen Taft. You know what's great about that? I think Eileen Tapp's kind of an interesting person. <laughs> Me too. And she has a very interesting daughter who is smart and a scientist and so much more. It's true. Sorry to interrupt. But I'm about to get out of here. Do you want me to take any of these boxes to the thrift store? Thank you. That would be terrific. Jenny, is there anything else you want to get rid of? No, I think that's everything. Oh, no, wait. I might have some stuff in the greenhouse. Let me check. file expect a billis. What are you talking about? The box of dirt! Why are you asking me? Because you took it! I did not! I know you have it. Why would I take your box of dirt? Because you're determined to get back at me. You even said you wanted me to feel what it was like to lose something I cared about. You're insane. You went out to get me since we were kids. Is this about what we did to you at prom? This is about everything. This is about 10th grade when you tricked me and I spilled an entire box of seeds all over the hallway. That poison ivy. <sighs> It's about Shane? Uh, yes, it's about Shane! He was just being nice by asking me, why does that bother you so much? Because I knew he didn't want to go with me! <laughs> oh. 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 Hey, hey, watch out for the Mathiola and Kana. Jeez, couldn't you just say flower? <sighs> We're fine, okay? Why are you so sure that he doesn't want to go with you? I mean, he asked you, didn't he? Yes, but only because he's supposed to. He wanted to go with you, and somehow that made me the bad guy. You did steal my flower. I didn't steal your flower. I thought about it, but I didn't. It's for my new job. So you are going to take the new job? Yes. <laughs> Shane and I have been together since we were 15. Can you believe that? Oh, yeah. I was there. What do you mean? I was there when he first asked you out. It was right after you pushed me in the hallway. I was picking up seats. Oh. Look, I was so desperate to be popular. I wanted to be queen of the high school jungle, and the easiest way to get there was to take out the weakest members of the herd. I'm sorry. Thank you. Should we hug? I was going to say get out of the box of dirt. Right, yeah, got it. And for the record, it was my idea, the prom thing. 
I sent you an email from his account. Thank you for telling me that. So, who else are you going to falsely accuse of taking your box of dirt? I have no idea. I can't think of anybody else who would take it. Huh. Well, I can. That idiot boyfriend of yours. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and spell it out for you one more time. I'm, I'm not taking a rare flower through baggage check. It's going on the plane with me, and I'm not buying it its own CD. Jenny, oh, uh, good to see you. I, um, I expect that you came to apologize. And I also think, Jenny, it's a good opportunity for you and I to start seeing other people. Okay, uh, there you go. Well, I guess I underestimated you, didn't I? Yeah, he did. And it's the biggest mistake you'll ever make in your life. All right, just me now. Seriously? Seriously. Part of the Diamond Club. asked me if I went to prom? Well, I didn't. Because the mean girl in my class made me think the most popular boy asked me just so he could stand me up. Wait, wasn't Mr. Rutherford the most popular boy? Yeah. Why do people do things like that? I don't know. Although maybe I kind of do. I learned something a little while ago about the mean girls, and it turns out they're just as scared and insecure as the rest of us. It just manifests itself in different ways. What did you do when it happened? I ran away. But you saw the world? I did. I saw a jungle in Borneo and another one in the Philippines. Anyway, after a while, all the jungles started to look the same. And they were the same in a way. They were just some place to hide. Hide from what? The girl who got stood up at prom. <sighs> you know, I, I wish I had gone that night anyway. I really do. I should have just shown up, found my friends, and had fun. I have an idea. Let's do this. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, it's your turn now. What? No. Uh, you can't go to prom looking like that. I can't go, not after everything that happened. No more hiding. Remember? <sighs> Come on. Fine. Come on. <laughs> Do this. <laughs> oh. Alas, we finally meet. Come on. Frankie, wow, you look amazing. Thank you. Madison, doesn't she look outstanding? Well, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to say thank you to Madison. For what? For making me think that Ethan invited me to go with him tonight. What? <laughs> you did what? It's okay, Ethan, because if she hadn't, I would just be sitting at home alone tonight, feeling sorry for myself. But instead, I'm here, and I'm gonna have fun tonight. If for no other reason, Madison, then it'll bug the heck out of you. Oh, and Madison, your boyfriend said I looked incredible tonight. There he is. You've been waiting your entire life for this moment. Can't. But I did it. I, I came to prom. I had fun with my friend, and I don't know that it's going to get any better than that. You sure? Yeah. Thank you, that was awesome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I owe it all to Jenny. Jenny? Yeah, it was all her idea. Go ask her yourself, she's right over there. Oh, uh, I don't know, she was there a minute ago. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> hey. Hey, Frankie. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I had no idea Madison would do anything like that. It's no big deal. Can I join you guys? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know how you guys walk 
face. And then look hot. Regular faces. <laughs> Jenny? You came. I did. You look beautiful. Thank you. I'm just gonna go dance. I was. Well, why didn't you come find me? I owe you a dance, remember? Um, that's why. Shane, you asked me because you felt like you owed me something. In high school Jenny would have been okay with that, but somebody reminded me recently that I'm not high school Jenny anymore. So the next time somebody asks me to dance, it's gonna be because they want to. Not because they feel like they have to. Well, high school Shane was a bit of a jerk. <laughs> uh, if he met a, a smart, funny, brave, little weird, but in a good way, talented woman, he would have no idea what to do with her. Thankfully, I'm not high school Shane. And I know exactly what I'd do. I'd ask her to dance. Not because I have to, but because I really, really want to. What? I just kind of liked your hair the way it was. <laughs>